All right, here we are, another best-selling author. Really excited today. We have Jennifer Drake Simmons with us. She's the author of A Mom's Will, which is a personal story that is just amazing. Um, I'm Corey Wamsley, CEO of Aurora Corialis Publishing. I'm an author, a book coach, and I work with lots of people who have amazing stories that they want to use to impact the world. So I'm going to let Jennifer tell you a little bit about herself and her book. Welcome, Jennifer. Thank you so much, Corey. Thank you for having me today. Um, we're really excited that today's launch day of A Mom's Will. Um, it has been years. When I say years, probably 10, maybe 12 in the yeah. making. So we, we're thrilled uh, to be with you and working with you and finally get this information out to the world. Yeah, well, I'm so glad that we got to work with you. It was a really amazing experience for all of us. Um, and I learned so much from your book. It was, you know, not having someone in my world who had epilepsy and, you know, being able to see that stuff up front. It was really interesting to see how you and your family were able to work with Will and, you know, his team and everybody to help him uh, grow into a happy, healthy adult. So that was just a beautiful story. Thank you so much. Thank you. It, it definitely um, was a passion project. Um, started, you know, right, pretty much keeping a journal uh, as soon as he started having symptoms um, that we weren't able to put two and two together with the doctors and really figure out what was going on um, for quite a while. So that journal just became our place to track, you know, actions he was having and symptoms he was having and seizures um, that he was having unbeknownst to us at the time, um, since they can all look very different. So we um, kept that journal and then just started, you know, chipping away at trying to figure out what, what was going on um, in his brain and to his body. And after having all that information in one place, I was sort of talked into <laughs> um, putting it together um, to help others and we're thrilled. We hope that that's what happens. Um, I had a dear friend in preschool when Will was in preschool and very sick who is a, a great writer herself and really um, helped me get my words um, together and on paper because it's emotional. So uh, Janine is her name and she really, we take long walks and have long talks when the kids were in preschool or while Will was in the hospital or whatever the case was. And she really helped me get this um, onto paper and out to the world. So I'm excited to share it. Yeah, yeah, I love that. Um, I love that you guys were doing a journal with the intention of being more aware of what was going on. First of all, I think that a lot of people don't realize that that's something they should be doing when they're on a health journey. So I'm glad that you shared that. Um, and also, I think it's wonderful that it doubled as not only that awareness, but also it ended up being kind of the basis for the book. Right, it definitely did. And I, you know, we suggest that to anybody who's going on any type of health journey. Our doctor suggested it to us and it really helped us put the pieces together. Yeah, that's wonderful. Um, so tell me, you know, we'll back up a little bit. Let's talk about who this book is really intended to help. Right, so I mean, it is based on a story and a journey um, with epilepsy, but it could really, you know, double for any type of health problem or behavioral problem. Um, just, I think, uh, uh, giving people hope. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I know whenever you're going through something like that, um, no matter what it is, even if it's not ep epilepsy, sometimes it's hard for uh, you know, whoever it is going through this journey to say, yes, there is another side to this. Yes, we really can get through it. And I think that stories like this are important because someone out there could read it no matter what they're going through and say, all right, you know, I see what they went through. I see how they were able to work with it. Yes, there were challenges, but yeah, um, they got through it and maybe I can too. So I love that this book can provide that hope for people. Yeah, Definitely. That's, that's our goal. For sure. Yeah. Um, and, you know, because this is such a close story, I was wondering, you know, did you feel like, you know, it was really challenging to share it? Um, I think so. I think that's 
part of the reason it took so long. Um, you know, you want to help people, but it's also putting yourself out there. And for us, we didn't want to put Will out there until he was ready. Of course. Yeah, I think that's something that you really have to consider when you have a child going through something too is, you know, sometimes as parents, we're like, yeah, I want to share. I want to make sure everybody out there gets the help. But, you know, how is that child going to react? Because it is their story as well. Right, right. So it did. It took years um, for us to come to this place. And I think with him, um, you know, not having any seizures and not being on any medication and really being on the other side of this and graduating high school. And um, I think, you know, it was finally time. It was finally the right time. Yeah. And I love that this has such a happy, obvious ending to it. It's like, you know, you come to this next chapter in his life and hey, you know, so much better. So it's, it's, like the the most ideal ending to the story. I know, I know. Well, and it's it's interesting um, when people will read the book, um, they will see we actually have had like multiple endings um, because you know we've we thought that this journey had been figured out um, when he was a little bit younger, um, and then you know as life happens, uh, things aren't always how you plan them out. So you just have to roll with it. And um, we finally are at a place where um, we know this is the right time to put the story out there. And we do have like the best ending possible. So it, the time just finally felt right. And Will was you know, ready and excited to help others. And here we are. I love that um, you actually share that it felt like this was the end of the story. And then, oops, here we go. Here's another one. Oh, and right. here we go. Um, because I, I love that, you know, you're kind of helping to normalize that because not everybody realizes that, you know, if, if you're, you know, standing back here or you're new to the journey, um, you're not going to realize that, yeah, it feels like it ended. Um, okay, now we're trying this new thing up, up and down the roller coaster again. Right. So we're normalizing the idea that, you know, things are going to change and you have to adapt. And sometimes the end is really just a new beginning. That's oh, exactly really right. We learn those lessons time and time again, and just grateful for where we are now and that we were able to, you know, use the diet and use kind of unconventional ways to really help him be his healthiest self. Yeah, I love that. So as challenging as the story was, what do you think was your favorite part to write when you were working on this? Um, you know, for me, I think it was um, cathartic and just, you know, getting it out of my system so I didn't have to hang on to it and carry it with me. But um, my favorite parts are probably the comedic parts where things happen and you're just like, really? Is, is this really, really going to go on right now? So I thought it was important. So the book isn't, um, you know, super sad or, you know, really... Um, you know, I don't want to say negative, but we, we wanted to bring light to some of the situations. I mean, even when we were in the roughest patches, you, you have to find humor and you have to find the bright side because, you know, we all go through stuff every day and everybody's, uh, you know, has their own um, problems to deal with, whether it's health or not, um, but it's just the way you do it. And we did find some comic relief through the way. Um, so I, I was happy to be able to share that. And I was happy to be able to sift through some of the heavy stuff to provide some of the light stuff. Yeah, I, I will say reading the book myself, there were several times that I was just at my desk laughing, <laughs> just cracking up at some of the things that um, maybe that Will said or that, you know, you caught the kids doing. I'm not going to spoil the story. You'll have to read the book to, to see what they got caught doing. Yes. Um, a lot of really funny points in there that I'm very glad that you shared that because, you know, every journey has its ups and downs and we do have to find that love at eight. Exactly, exactly. And just being able to put it, I mean, our favorite part, part is seeing it help people. Um, it, it, it's, that's really the silver lining of his whole disorder and his years of troublesome, you know, medical diagnoses and just, you know, some really, really bad dark days is the silver lining is here. Yeah. 
So I wanted to ask you, <laughs> because this isn't just your story, um, it's the whole family story, and particularly it, you know, is, is about Will. Um, how does he feel about his story being out there? Well, we have a little guest <laughs> here today. I shouldn't say little, we have a big guest here today. Hello. Here's Will. It's so <laughs> nice to finally meet you. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, you too. <laughs> Yeah, so what do you think of your story being out there? I'm really excited that it's out, and um, I'm just happy it can help people with their struggles. Yeah. What, is there something that uh, maybe you want to share, um, either from the book or just something personally, you know, for maybe if there's a kid watching, um, you know, some sort of inspiration, something to help them kind of push through? Um. Just to like, just to never give up. Things usually will work out if you just keep faith and stay positive. Yeah, I'm sure that as a child it was tough doing that, especially when you were told you couldn't eat candy and things like that. Yeah, so, yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Wow. Well, I'm glad you were here today to be able to talk about your. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you know. This is kind of open for both of you guys. What do you hope to achieve with this book? I mean, just reaching an audience of people to give them hope. I know that when we started going through it, there wasn't a ton of support or information um, available. We dug and dug and dug as deep as we could to, to just find anything. So there are kids out there um, and families who just need um, some direction and some help and some guidance and some faith. and um, you know, they get that through their doctors, but as a mom and as a, a, a family, um, you know, Brian and I thought it was really important to, you know, help other families um, because our our view is different than, than the doctors would have. Um, and when it's your child, you you will do anything to, to help. And I think at the end of the day, if this is just a resource for families to check out and laugh and just know they're not alone, that's that's the best part. Yeah, I love that. Well, did you have anything to add? No, I mean, I really, I agree with what she said. I think she summed it up perfectly. Oh, thanks, bud. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fantastic. Um, and I did want to mention too, you know, first of all, uh, the book A Mom's Will is available today only on Amazon for 99 cents. So you can pick up the ebook copy. Um, you can have it forever and you know, be able to carry it around in the palm of your hand. It's pretty uh, convenient. Also, uh, Jen has a Facebook group. Uh, do you want to tell them a little bit about the Facebook group and what that's for? Sure, sure. Um, we have a Facebook group also called A Mom's Will um, that you can find. And we'll just be answering any questions or um, providing any information that comes up and pops up along the way. Um, I'll be adding some more information and some links to some other resources that we found super helpful, um, potentially in the future, some of our keto recipes that we use um, and some of our tips and tricks. So it's just a place to go. And if people you know, wanna say hi or ask a question or tell us their story, that's it'll be there for that purpose. I love that. I, I just really love that everybody's, you know, going to be able to benefit from this book and from your group and um, be, be able to feel better because I know that's what we all want. So thank you so much for sharing about your story and, you know, getting the book out there. Um, if anybody is watching later and you have questions, be sure you drop them in the comments. Um, Jen or I will be happy to answer them. Maybe you'll look out and get Will to answer them too. <laughs> um, <laughs> And I will drop the link for the group and for the ebook in the comments. Make sure you pick up a copy of that. Um, Jen and Will, thank you so much for joining us today. It was wonderful getting to talk with you guys about the book and to celebrate the fact that you hit number one today. Um, Jen, you're a best-selling yeah. author. <laughs> Congratulations. And Will, you're a superstar. So. Thank you. <laughs> yes, let's, fo let's focus on that. <laughs> Awesome. Yes. Well, thank you everybody so much for listening and thank you, Corey, for everything. You're welcome. I'm it's so been an amazing process working with you and all of your wonderful staff. Thank you.
Yeah, well, we were all thrilled to be able to help you guys get your book out there. Um, if you're watching, thank you so much for joining us and make sure you drop, uh, <laughs> click the link when we drop it in the comments and grab your copy of the book. Thanks everyone. Thank you.